I had my appendix taken out the weekend before the first Super Rugby game. First of all, they thought the appendix was just swelling up. But then, unfortunately, that burst inside as I was in the emergency room. So some of the poison went to my upper intestines and that's why it took me three and a half months to get back into rugby action. That was very frustrating to do nothing, to lie in bed and you can't even eat properly, so I lost 10 kgs. And then, uh, yeah, but then my wife was really, was really the, the, uh, uh, the cornerstone for me, like strength-wise and just staying calm and not being, getting too frustrated. My wife really helped with that and her prayers and all my teammates and the, and the coaching staff of the Stormers really uh, sending me messages and sending me their prayers and all that and it was really awesome. For me personally, obviously, I'm focusing now on the championship. We're all focusing now on the championship. We can't look further than the championship. I mean, anything can happen. I've seen in my opinions that anything can happen. So, I mean, every opportunity I get, I go full out. I hold nothing back. So, I mean, a lot of people take things for granted. They'll say, yeah, I will play well next weekend or I'll train again next weekend. But you never know what's going to happen, especially with what happened to me with my appendix. It just came unexpectedly. And I mean, since then, I've, I've almost got a wake-up call. I can just take things for granted. I can just take the opportunity that I get to be here for granted and not wish I was somewhere else or doing something else, but just to be here and enjoy myself. Every forward player has his own way that he prepares, but for me, coming into the spring box, knowing that, listen, I'm the guy with the least game time here, I just back myself in just, in, in just doing what I do very well. And the small things that I do well, I'm gonna just continue doing them. I'm not try to play out of, my, out of my lane and try something stupid I've never done before, or try, or try silly things I've never done before. I just focused on my basics, line out, scrumming, and obviously my work rate around the field. I mean, that's one thing that I back myself with, my fitness and my conditioning. really awesome to know that there are people that really care about you even if you're not with them in a team environment they still care about you as a person so yeah that was really awesome to see and especially my church members also came to be and pray for me